Coming soon to Handmade Sticks in early 2023 are the brand new Handmade Sticks LB1 irons. Larry, over the past year, we've seen Handmade Sticks roll out a wide variety of different clubs. We've seen Todd Dempsey Persimmon Woods. We've seen yourself and, and JP um, rolling out uh, new wedges. Yep. We've seen a wide variety of different excellent putters, but we've never seen a Handmade Sticks iron before. Kind of talk a little bit about the LB1 iron and sort of what drove you to, to release it to the world? Well, you know, after designing golf clubs for almost 40 years um, and getting this opportunity with handmade sticks to, to really make what we want to make, you mm -hmm. know, if you look at Tad, if you look at Clay Long, if, you know, we're just kind of allowed to just make what we really like to make. And, you know, I kind of looked at all our offerings and, and it's, well, hey, why don't we make an iron? Um, so I kind of just took all of the experience that I've had over almost 40 years and kind of rolled it in the golf club and, and you know, as, as we see, as we look at it, you know, it's a blade. It's, it's not a forgiving golf club, mm -hmm. but it's a golf club that if you're, you know, if you're a handmade sticks guy and, and you're a purist, you're, you're going to want to throw them in the bag because they're, it's just a very simple golf club and, and, you know, got the opportunity to do it and so I did it. So first let's talk about the look of these irons. So Larry, as, as many people know, you stood on PGA Tour, LPGA Tour ranges for decades and so you really have a, a pretty firm grasp of what the better player wants in a blade-like iron. Kind of explain kind of your philosophy around shaping the aesthetic and appearance of these irons. Well, you know, I've got the five iron here in my hand. I mean, if you take a look at it, it's very clean. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. um, you know, having learned to design golf clubs at Wilson, it's a very symmetrical looking toe. So, I mean, hey, I've posted a few pictures on Instagram already and gotten some feedback and people say, well, I see it. I see this iron. I see that. Well, it really is. You know, it's kind of a combination of all the irons that I've, that I've thought were really good over the years, you know, some of the ones that I did, some of the ones that other people did, and you kind of just try to roll them into a golf club. I mean, I think that's what really good designers do is they, they look at a golf club and say, boy, you know, that guy did a really nice job, but how could I make it better? Mm -hmm. So as, as you go along, you start getting better and better. I mean, I look at some of my early designs from Wilson, and I'm like, oh my gosh, how, do, how the heck did I do that? <laughs> you know, it's not the prettiest thing. So when you get an opportunity like this, you really spend a lot of time before you, before you get into the design process going, hey, what is it, what do I want it to look like? Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, that's kind of where these came from. Okay, now let's kind of switch gears from, from look to feel. So you've, you've hit every different kind of iron imaginable. When you swing these LB1 irons, what's kind of, kind of describe the feel and the sensation through the ball uh, to the viewers at home? Well, you know, I, I've, I've designed forged irons. I've designed cast irons. You know, one of the irons that still had, kind of has legendary status is the 962B mm -hmm. Titleist which was 431 stainless, double heat treated, everybody, you know, oh, this is an amazing iron, it was really good. So I went back to that, you know. I, I like the idea of, of making an iron that's gonna feel solid, that's gonna play. Um, so I, I went back to the, the casting, you know, a lot of people, wow, why didn't you forge it? Why didn't you do that? Well, I think these are, I think these are very solid and I can mm -hmm. tell you through my, through my years, you know, we worked at we worked on Wilson staffs thinking about trying to make it out of this material years and years ago before you were even born, and you know then the 962 Bs and I really believe this is a material that makes a very very solid golf club, mm -hmm. you know and to me, the design of the golf club has more to do with the feel of the golf club than the material does and a lot of people might say well what are you talking about oh forging's feel great, if you design it properly golf club's gonna feel good no matter what material you make it out of. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, some of the best irons ever were made by Ping and those things were 17-4 stainless that were very firm and people loved them. Right. So, Let, I think one of the through lines through our discussion so far has really been kind of the, the history leading up to you creating this iron. What was it that really kind of spurred you on to, after all these years, to say, you know what, it's time to make the iron that I've always wanted to make? 
Well, I still play Blade, so part of it, part of it was kind of. You, know, <laughs> you need it, a new set. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a little bit um, it was a little bit me being a little selfish to my to myself that hey, you know, I'd really like to have an iron in my bag that's got my name on it, uh, but then, you know, you look at it and you say, well, hey, I really want a set of golf clubs that's really going to look good, and and then if somebody buys it and somebody looks at it and says, hey, you know. They're proud, to, you know. It's kind of the pride in ownership. Sure. So when I it's when got I, your initials on it. Yeah, absolutely. And when when I look at it, you know, I want somebody to say, "Man, this looks great. It feels great. It plays great." I mean, that's what every designer wants. I sure. mean, the last thing you want is somebody to hit it and go, "Oh, this thing stinks," <laughs> right? And and I've made some stinkers in in the day. I won't tell anybody what they are, <laughs> but. Um, so it's really that, you know, it's kind of the pride of ownership. One, it's the pride of ownership of me that when I pull up, when I pull up to a golf course and, you know, the, the, the bad guy drops, pulls the bag and looks at it and goes, wow, what are those? Right. I mean, you've already started the process. When somebody looks at it and goes, wow, what, is, what are those? And, you know, you kind of move from there. Then it's, then it's going to the range and hitting balls with them and make sure they, they perform and they can play, you know. Um, I looked at the the sole design, the leading edge. You know, I left it very neutral. Sure. Okay. You know, if somebody wants to take these, uh, you know, the leading edge is kind of semi-round. Hey, if somebody goes, well, it looks a little too round. You know, you can put them on a wheel and just buzz them down real easy. Sure. And that's also the advantage of the material that hey, it's not gonna. You didn't break through the chrome. You're not gonna rust. Um, so. That's why I really like this material because it, it allows the club maker who may, might want to take these and do a little of their own work with, go ahead, go, sure. for, go for it. Sure. Let's talk about the target golfer for the LB1 irons. Now, obviously, we're biased. They're a gorgeous looking iron. They, they look great on a wall. You can butter bread with them. There's a lot of uses <laughs> for them. But when it comes to the playability of them, the, the turf interaction, the forgiveness, kind of who is the, the target golfer in your mind that, that is ideal for the LB1s? Yeah, I mean, you know, I would say probably 10 or less handicap, okay. but, but I also don't want to limit to that. You know, hey, this, maybe this isn't your everyday playing set, you know, and we'll, you know, we won't talk about it, but we've priced them accordingly, so they won't break the bank. It won't be a mortgage payment to buy a set of these. Um, you know, maybe it's your maybe it's your Sunday afternoon go play nine holes golf club. Mm -hmm. You know, it might not be your every, but but to have a set of these sitting around to go out. Maybe it's your practice set. You know, hey, a lot of players through the years. You know, Tiger used to practice with a persimmon wood. You know, a lot of guys practiced with blades and then played with something else. You know, I, I just want people to get a set of these, enjoy them, and sit there and say, okay, well. Maybe I maybe I don't want to play them every time, but boy, I got to play I got to play at least a few rounds a year with these. And now let's kind of chat about one other aspect that we're going to do with these LB1 irons, which is the opportunity for players to purchase them head only. Yeah, you know, there's so many different shaft options, and there's so many custom builders out there who really want to do something different. You know, I really like the opportunity that hey, rather than having to buy the set, build them, tear them apart, and then put them back together again. You know, we're just going to offer some heads only. So we'll offer some. You know, right now the the stock shaft is dynamic old S three hundred, but I, I think there should be an opportunity for us to to just sell those heads only and let let a guy put. You know, if he wants to put KBS in or if he wants to put LA Golf, whatever whatever he wants to put in there. You know, why limit that? So perfect. Well, Larry, now that we've, we've wet the appetites of golfers everywhere for the LB1s, let's kind of chat about how they can get their hands on them. So as we mentioned, these are coming out early 2023 yep. in the mid-January to early February time frame. Correct. They'll be available for pre-order after Thanksgiving, just in time uh, for right. the holiday season. Kind of chat about kind of how excited you are to finally roll these out and, and see how golfers perform with an iron that you've kind of had in your head for years. Well, I mean, this is, this is, you know, this is 40 years of, this is 40 years of me, you know, 
when you know you sit there and you, you design golf clubs like we talked about earlier right. you know the pride of ownership and the pride of having your initials on there there's always that oh my gosh you know you're going to get some detractors i mean everybody doesn't like everything. <laughs> everybody's so, a critic yeah somebody's <laughs> going to say this somebody's going to say that but you know, I just look at this and go, hey, you know, when I really sat down and decided to do this project, it was like, okay, what am I really going to do? Am I going to, am I going to try to fit? We're not trying to fit the masses. We're not, you know, we're not competing against anybody else. We're handmade sticks, mm -hmm. you know, it's one-offs. This will be a, lar a little bit larger run, but it, it's really a, a set of golf clubs that, that I just looked at and went, wow, this would be really cool to make and we did so uh, like I said it's it's really 40 years of experience and a lot of time and a lot of thought to to get to this point where we are right now with this set there you have it folks the LB1 irons from handmade sticks 40 years of mastery poured into these beautiful blade irons the Michelin star chef to my right has cooked up a beautiful <laughs> meal for golfers everywhere from Larry Bobka and myself Michael Geiger thank you for watching